Hi, in this video I am proceeding to talk about how to design primers and today I want to talk about GC clamps of the 3' end of the primers and uh, imagine that this is DNA strand and this is another DNA strand and here we have our primers so this is going to be 5' prime end and 3' prime end and the rule is that a uh, new strand of the DNA always grows from the 5 to 3 direction so this is going to be 5 and 3' prime end on the other strand and uh, as general rule primers must be between 18 and 30 nucleotides and at the last uh, about 5 or 6 nucleotides uh, we should have uh, for the last uh, nucleotide uh, preferably G or C because uh, as you know G and C has uh, 3 hydrogen bonds and A and T has two hydrogen bonds so this pair is preferably for the stability of the uh, primer and uh, we may have only G or C or we may have uh, different combinations for example G G or C C or G C or C G so any of these combinations also would be good but uh, don't think that uh, to put all uh, G and C's for the last 5 and uh, 5 6 nucleotides because uh, if you put uh, such sequence that is uh, has many G's and C's they, this may lead to formation of the primer dimers so these two primers would form a dimer here and G's for example here would uh, form complementary bounding with uh, C's on the other strand or this uh, could be just repetition of the different uh, sequence like G, C, C, G so uh, at the end we will get more primer dimer uh, content than uh, uh, our desirable product double stranded DNA so uh, also uh, those we have uh, sequence for the uh, our primer about uh, 18 30 nucleotides only this last 5-6 nucleotides are important because uh, this is where uh, polymerase are going to attach and uh, the rest of the primer or beginning of the primer is not that important uh, for the polymerase attachment and uh, usually before uh, one primer would, would anneal to this uh, sequence here uh, it's going to uh, hit uh, hundreds of different places on the DNA on different uh, DNA strands and even when it's uh, anneal here uh, it's going still be breathing and uh, breathing is when uh, for example this is DNA strand and here is uh, our primer so uh, one end may attach and reattach um, or it could be somewhere in the middle here and we are mostly interested uh, in stability of the 3' prime end and uh, if we have breathing at the 5' prime end this uh, won't uh, have such effect on the uh, product formation or attachment of the polymerase as 
it has uh, at the three prime end because polymerase would attach here. So uh, this is uh, highly recommended if you would be able to put uh, G here or find such sequence that uh, you may get at the end GOCs and um, of course uh, this new strand uh, of DNA would be extended in this direction here and in this direction here and this is going to be uh, 3 prime end for this new strand and 5 prime end for this strand and 3 and 5 respectively for these two strands. Uh, what uh, also I want to add that uh, when you design primer try to avoid such situation when you have a very low G uh, C content for the whole sequence of the uh, 18 30 nucleotides or too higher uh, try to have it between 40 and 60 percent of the GC content because if uh, content would be uh, more high on the GC uh, you may have a problem with uh, uh, quality and quantity of your final product or if you would be uh, very low on the GC uh, your primer probably would hit different places on the DNA and you will get uh, a lot of uh, background noise so in order to avoid such situation try to um, have uh, your GC content between 40 and 60 percent. So uh, this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.